Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Can meeting a Philippine partner change your perspective? Um, reality is the average person has very little direction in their lives these days. Um, working, for example, is starting to get to the point where technology is taking far too many jobs. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't agree with all technology taking all jobs uh, purely because it becomes counterproductive when you have to subsidize people not to work. Uh, but also, I think the opportunities should be there for people. Uh, it doesn't matter what the job is, but the fact is, when you take away somebody's job, you're often taking away their um, direction in life, their career path, their opportunities, being the uh, hunter-gatherer, breadwinner, whatever you want to call it. Um, so people lose perspective. Um, often they can feel quite down with it. Even if they want to work, they may struggle to find work. Meeting somebody from the Philippines and marrying or looking to marry them can change everything overnight. You become more focused, you become more family orientated, you become more interested in doing whatever it takes to make it happen. Um, you get a new lease of life. Um, I have to admit, financially, I've always done pretty well. Um, and when I met my wife, I was at the end of an 11 year relationship with my ex-partner and I was happy being signal, single. Um, I had I'd, you know, pretty much given up everything when I left um, and I really didn't want another relationship because in the West, it's often the whole me, 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 um, where the guy's on the, the raw end of the deal, you know. You lose, you lose the house, you lose the kids, you lose the finances, you lose half your wages. Everything's about robbing the guy. Um, so often with that stuff, you just go, not interested anymore. But what you find if you meet the right person in the Philippines is you got somebody who wants to commit to you um, with everything, everything they've got, um, the heart and soul, everything financially anything everything you know they're committed to you they want to give you a, be your best best friend your wife your the mother to your children um they want to be the person that looks after the home often traditional family values uh strong morals strong religious guidance um a strong belief in you which is often what drives people forward in life. That's why a lot of people seem to do quite well when they get married to a Filipino woman. Um, because the reality is they're driving you forward. They're not running you down. In the West, it's common for women to run people down. It's common for people to just run people down just because they want to. Um, you look at the media, it doesn't pick anybody up. It's always on the negative side of everything. Um, but you, you have this beautiful woman that basically is proud of you, uh, drives you and puts her trust in you. Um, and those alone, on top of that, she loves you, um, is enough to kickstart any guy, to move hell and high water to make everything happen. Um, there's, a, there's a group of people in Spain at the minute, well, all around Europe, where basically um, they're having problems getting their partner to the UK. Often they haven't got the this a high income. So they've abandoned their home country. They've abandoned the UK and they've headed to Spain, Portugal, Germany, France, Netherlands. And some of them will settle there permanently. Some will find a way back to the UK. Um, but they're even going up against the government. That's, that's how committed people get. 
um, until you're in one of those relationships, it's hard to compare it to the average marriage because marriages are very different in the UK these days. I, most people don't commit in the same way they, they do it because it's a chore, you know. It's, oh, we should get married. We've been together 20 years. Where in the Philippines, it's still traditional for most people. Um, yeah. And I'll tell you now, it will change your whole perspective meeting the right woman. She will drive you so far forward and focus you on making it happen. And the thing is, at no point will you actually say it's impossible you will do whatever it takes and that's what changes in a lot of people they're not used to somebody picking them up and carrying them forward and saying look you can you can um but when you need to take your family back to the west uh need to make a living in asia need to go or do whatever it takes to keep your family together you will make it happen um and that's all I can say on it, really. Um, that's commitment. And I think that's missing from a lot of relationships in the West these days. It's sad. It's sad that the, the West has lost that focus. But anyway, thanks for watching.